Today, the Philadelphia School District will unveil its plan for the upcoming school year. Parents and guardians anxiously awaiting this news. Eyewitness News reporter Jan Carabeo is live this morning outside of the district's headquarters with the latest details there. Jan. Janelle, good morning. This announcement is scheduled for 10 o'clock this morning in a virtual press conference involving the superintendent of schools, Philadelphia's mayor, as well as the city's health commissioner. And we're told this plan will detail everything from cleaning procedures to schedules for students and staff. School District of Philadelphia leaders are calling their plan to return to school in the fall their Advancing Education Safely plan. And they say it was developed in partnership with state and local health experts, as well as guidance from the CDC. Eyewitness News spoke to Superintendent Dr. William Height just last week ahead of today's announcement. We will, however, be masking. We will, however, be social distancing and we will be sanitizing and promoting hand washing and making sure stations are available to do those things. Many of those items are also on the list of recommendations from the Philadelphia Federation of Teachers. Just yesterday, the teachers union outlined nine points they want addressed in order to reopen school buildings safely. Some of those items include a plan for COVID-19 testing, contact tracing, decluttering, cleaning and sanitizing, as well as alternatives to in-person instruction. In a recent survey of school district employees, one third of surveyed teachers, counselors and nurses and other professionals said public schools should remain fully remote when classes begin in September. More than half said a hybrid in person and remote model is the best way to balance education with health and safety. That could include split weeks or alternating weeks of in person learning. And in a different survey, seven out of 10 Philadelphia educators said they had significant concerns about returning to school before a vaccine is developed. The World Health Organization says there are 23 potential COVID-19 vaccines in the human testing process globally. In the meantime, CDC Director Dr. Robert Redfield stresses masks will play a big role in schools reopening. Face coverings are not a symbol, but they're actually a very important preventive intervention that can really block this virus. Now, when Eyewitness News spoke with Superintendent Height last week, he did mention that any reopening would be staggered, likely with some students returning while others continued to work remotely. We'll bring it up to date at 10 o'clock this morning. But for now, we are live in Spring Garden. Jan Carabao, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Janelle, back into you. All right, Jan, thanks so much.